Any team can lose, indeed. Anything can happen in every this team, And every team has lost, yep. except for Royal. And CLG are going to hope to try and hand it to him here. Let's take a look at the starting lineups on CLG representing North America. We have got Darshan in the top lane. You just heard from the man himself. Roam in the jungle, it is going to be X Smithy. That means in the mid lane, we've got who he, well, we've learned who he is absolutely this tournament. Stixe is the AD carry. Aframu will be the support, and their coach is Zeeks. Yeah, and on the other side of the rift, it's going to be Royal Never Give Up. Royal Never Lose a Game. In the top lane, Looper as their jungle MLXG. Mid lane, Shao Hu, AD carry Whoosh. Support Mata, telling everyone what to do. <laughs> and up on stage with them is Coach Fly, also telling them what to do. At least for the pick and ban phase and in between a all little the games. Bit. You know, they kind of trade off a little bit. This is a team that has just been so ridiculously strong, but they haven't had the cleanest of games. Every game they've played has looked close. Yeah, I think maybe even their game today was the scariest game mm -hmm. uh, because MLXG got his hands on the Nidalee, and he absolutely demolished Flash Wolves with it. They got so far ahead uh, in the lane swap by him uh, just being so much quicker on the clear speed. And they got all the neutral objectives. Uh, and they are just were able to take that early advantage and run it all the way home. As they said on the desk, this was our first matchup of the entire tournament. It unleashed the madness. and. Yeah, and in, that game, put a lid on it in that game as well, Royal banned the Soraka. Uh, one change that they've made here is the ban the Caitlyn. A lot of teams now changing that up and banning that against CLG. Ooh, Bard ban too. CLG are repeating their ban of the Twitch against RNG though. So the AD carry, the bottom lane respect is here. These are five bottom lane bans. And the first pick, Kindred comes through. Not really a surprise there. Yeah, a lot of bottom lane being pinched away. The Echo, the Lucian, that might get picked up there. Woosh has been very, very strong on that Lucian. So is everybody. It's the no-brainer pick, and Stixay with his Caitlyn band away might have to find some other mm -hmm. options. Still waiting on that Tristana, man. Yeah, 100% pick bands there for uh, Lucian as well as the Kindred. Aframu going to be a little bit sad. No, uh, no Bard this time around. But I don't think he's going to be able to get his hands on that much more often. We'll see what he's able to pull off. I mean... Bard Callista combo was pretty crazy earlier, but yeah, I can't pull that one definitely. Six yeah. could run the Callista himself again, but I don't think AD carry is what they need to pick up right about now. With their jungler locked away, Darshan, maybe the Poppy? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what he's run into, Echo, and they definitely like the Poppy. Um, I still feel a lot of pain whenever I see Darshan play this Poppy into Echo matchup and he gets behind 20 or 30 CS even. Um, but they definitely still like it because they value the team fighting more. It's a lot it's a lot more secure team fighting. It's a lot more reliable from Poppy, um, even though Echo is uh, definitely a nuisance oh. himself. All right, they do take the Callista. No support shown though, as the Emperor of Shirima is mm. picked up for who he. All right, who he's Azir coming back. The, the barrier Azir. We'll see how well he uses it this time around. Know what Xiaohu's gonna run, but the blocks up, man, that's been scary for it, Xiaohu. And it has, so here's the thing. It has, but it has also gotten very, very early ganks every time he's played the LeBlanc into Azir. So all these Azir players gotta know that Royal are gonna send MLXG over to the mid lane early on, either a level two quote unquote cheese, whatever you wanna call it. The jungler is coming for you early and often if you're playing the LeBlanc into Azir matchup. Um, from the Azir side. This time around, like I said though, the Nidalee on MLXG was really scary today. Uh, he definitely has the clear speed down and they definitely were able to push the tempo with that Nidalee and transition that into a big win for themselves. See if they can actually do it against CLG because CLG uh, have played a lot, they've played a lot more lane swap games. Certainly have. With that wife steel lane rounded out too, Mata has elected to go for the Thresh. He only picked it the one time, but he was starting to throw some god hooks out there in their previous match. Mm -hmm. On CLG's side, they'll have to finish up their composition. They still need Darshan, a top laner, and they still need Afro as support. I always love seeing the legendary supports play Thresh. Thresh has just been around and been good for so long just because of the substantial playmaking ability that he does have. Paired with Lucian, definitely a very strong lane. Let's see here for CLG. They hover the Tristana. Everybody wants to see the Rage Blade Tristana come back. Already got Callista. Um, uh, but yeah, the support is going to be the other half of it. Is it War everybody though? Warwick, by the me. way, Warwick, by the way, is Stixay's favorite champion. That's why he always hovers it. Ah, okay. It's an All interesting right. favorite for an AD carry. Poppy locked in as we we thought might, and then of course the Morgana, something Aphromoo digging a little bit further back for. 
Yeah, so no surprises then. They are just gonna go right back into that Poppy Echo matchup. I'm gonna keep my eye on the lane matchup because I've been really curious. It's happened twice for Darshan. He's gotten really behind in CS both times, but I need to see why. I need to see exactly how he's trading. Um, I know that the Poppy nerfs to me were a lot more substantial than the Echo nerfs on this patch, um, and they did hurt her early trading, but uh, we shall see if it works this time around. Yeah. The question we should really ask ourselves here is, with the CLG bot lane, do they elect to maybe take the lane swap and not deal with the Lucian Thresh early? We know RNG tend to get a little behind the 8-ball when they do have to swap, as that Zed is locked in for Xiao Hu. Ho, ho, ho! So, Never mind my point, Kobe! Yeah, it's not going to be the LeBlanc, but it is going to be some pressure, kill pressure on mid lane. And Huhi, yes, he changes! No more barrier for Huhi. He's going yep. for the Azaz this time. Very good. That's an easy decision. Yeah, I like it. Um, so, towards the late game, CLG, now their eyes are already towards late game. They're like, Please, God, can we get there? Because they've got Kindred to help their back line oh, with the Zir. Yeah, Zed, yeah, exactly. Zed into the, that sort of comp. Uh, they should be okay if they can get there. However, they're facing a Nidalee and a, a mid lane with kill pressure. It's very scary. Plus, this Echo has consistently one lane against the top lane for Darshan. That's another winning lane for Royal. So Royal, they've got a lot of power here on the early stages, and CLG fans are just hoping that they can get past it. Now they've had a lot of faith, and it's rewarded them thus far this tournament as the coaches shake hands to walk off stage. Take a minute to weigh in on this match. Tweet us at LOL Esports with your in-game predictions using the hashtag CLG win if you're the faithful or RNG win if you think the Chinese powerhouse is going to keep on steamrolling. But for now, the LPL does own the rift in their hometown, and we will see who takes this one away? Scary early game from this RNG side yeah. as we load up onto Summoners. RNG owns the Rift. Let's see if CLG can get some of those uh, deep wards down on the Rift to see about the lane swap. Because I think one step, the first step in getting towards that later stage of the game is to get the lane swap off. No one has been able to defeat RNG. CLG in the first game of the day had some unexpected surprise. First game of the tournament had some unexpected surprises. This time a lot more standard, but it's RNG that mixed it up with the Zed bit. Oh, these pings from RNG are actually, uh, okay, so they're spreading out. They're just gonna play defensive instead. Uh, I was gonna be a little bit worried because CLG have done this invade really, really often. Um, and some teams have tried to set up, you know, ambushes there in the ward to try and uh, grab first blood on them and punish them for uh, always going for the deep wards for lane swaps, but uh, CLG are just going to do it again, and it's a Spotted, though. standard counter here from RNG. They're going to get their own wards down. Actually, not standard. They're going for the kill instead. Uh, okay. Oh, he's got to flash the hook. Oh, that hurts. God, that hurts, Uhi. Okay, no flash versus the Zed lane. Well, if you didn't think that Nidalee was coming before, <laughs> you better be sure that there's going to be pressure mid lane now. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a rough one for Huhi. He does have that exhaust, but Xiao Hu won't be going all in on him, not till that level six hits the mark. So RNG with a few deep wards of their own. Let's see okay. if they can catch anyone out here or just throw the wards wow. down last second. CLG are going to go for the lane swap. And RNG, another oddity here. Going to start off on this side. Instead of the standard clearing, trying to clear away from their own, CLG, they're just walking their way over towards their uh, standard defensive. Uh, lane swap. Let's see if uh, yeah. MLXG can pull another three buff out of his hat because earlier today on the Nidalee, he was able to get a three buff versus Flash Wolves. Starting off on uh, CLG's bottom uh, red here, and MMD is trying to watch their own. I think Afro is going to be able to get in there though, so yeah. uh, Smithy should be able to control oh. right. the CLG top lane swap side of the jungle, and they should corral MLXG just into the bottom half of the map and make him respect the lane swap. But he's coming back over. It looks like he's going to make oh, a, boy. a move. I told you. No flash. Got to respect ah. that kitty cat. And that's first blood. I told you, dude. Level two cheese. They did it before. They do it again. This one is another wrinkle on that level yeah. two cheese because he's coming from behind you. You don't expect him to start your red. But how many times can RNG catch people off guard with these? Yeah. Um, you I guess one more. Guys. Okay, so, yeah, you know, okay, I'll go back to the beginning, though. The reason he's not expecting it, obviously, this is not the standard lane swap. They started on CLG's red side. 
uh, red buff, which technically is RNG's territory in a lane swap, but it's not the normal uh, buff that you actually start on for the jungler. Caught Huhi off guard. It was just made worse because he didn't have flash. But I think when you don't have flash, you have to be overly cautious and just expect the cheese out of these guys. Two-part gank. That's a kill for MLXG. Bloodthirsty in that mid lane. Yeah. It will be the trades, but it's actually CLG who are going to secure this one up very quickly. As only loopers in the bottom side. We know that RNG don't tend to respond to lane swaps quite as fast, but this time they're not responding at all. They're hanging two in the top. Hmm. Yeah, they are going to try and... Uh, maybe they try and sneak in there. Because as of right now, they're just not getting any experience. Yeah, they're going to try and sneak in there with Nidalee when she comes oh, and use the teleport. No, no, can they no, burst no, no, the turret? No. No, I don't have enough. In comes Looper. S okay, so uh, at seven minutes is when the champion damage reduction falls off of turrets. They're nowhere near that stage right now, but they do make the defense. They use the teleport. Uh, they've gotten a little bit of extra CS on Looper is what they've gotten out of this. Yeah, they give up a lot of damage on their top turret to secure it, though. They so could just stop the lane swap. They could if... Oh, okay, so here's the invade okay. from MLG. Oh, oh, Man. oh, fighting over those wolves. Smithy's able to defend it. MLG coming back for another spear, though. Misses that one. Smithy is able have, to fancy footwork away. I have to say, though, MLG has just impressed me so much. This oh. guy is very, very intelligent as well. Um, as being mechan uh, mechanically proficient on junglers. Mata lands the hook and goes for the two. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, mechanics, no problems more like for CLG right now, but it comes in the minions around the side. The heel's coming out. That's a lot of damage from the Kindred, but it comes MLXG, 6A, securing the answer kill here, and he's looking for more, trying to find MLXG with an auto attack. As he Wu takes it out though. Afro. It's a one for one. 6A is going to circle back. Oh, dodge that spear. He's got to hop it. Ooh, man, what a high intensity fight right there. And MLXG does get away from Stixa. If they were able to clean up that one, then maybe worth it. But right now, they're so scared because they're going to get pushed off the minions here. MLXG is going to come in for the dive. If he lands the spear still, oh, oh he he's going for it. He's dead. Sinks it. Puts the claws in. Smithy's down, and Stixa will fall. MLXG bites the dust on top, so they get a return answer kill. Totally for worth two. it for RNG. This early game is going very well for RNG. And again, more accolades for MLXG. This guy, all right, let's take another look at the beginning, though, because Mata lands the hook on the level one Morgana. They go all in. Barely, Stixa is able to take that spear instead and delay uh, the kill on Aphromu. But Smithy comes in. They're inside the minions, so they go aggressive here. Um, Stixa is going to have to go up. He wards. He gets that extra kill. And he flashes forward, but not able to finish MLXG. I think he did not get the Ren reset, didn't have a spear um, in a minion, maybe, when he went for that one. Um, dangerous. Because he did get the kill with an auto, I believe. So he didn't have another rend up to try and take down MLXG. But again, very good early game for RNG. They start off on the level one. They burn the flash before minions are even there. Uh, MLXG makes a really smart path, uh, able to capitalize on that down flash in mid lane. And now, action top earns them some extra gold. That's really important. The Zed's not even hit level five in the mid lane. It's been so quiet, just silently out farming at Xiao Hu here. As soon as he hits that six, we'll start transitioning all that action down there. And he just keeps on pressuring, keeps on threatening Hu He. Mm -hmm. uh, this is looking rough for CLG to start this game off. We knew it was going to be difficult, but RNG have made it deadly. Yeah, man, that I, man backing right now. I really do enjoy watching uh, MLXG work, though. Even though I hate Nidalee and I hate what she uh, brings to the table, gives you a lot of options. So I talked about being so important for junglers is having, keeping your options open and adjusting to the game as it develops. He's done a very good job of it. Yes, indeed. Taking stock of where we're at with the action actually cooling off for a second. Seven minutes and it's a thousand gold ahead. That is a hell of a lot to deal with a lot of it. Sitting on MLXG with 100% kill participation, the kitty cat has been doing work. Let's see what they can get done in this bottom side as Darshan and Looper continue to trade back, back and forth. CLG just trying to hold out for a little while and not take any more punishment in this early game. Yeah, remember the game plan from the very beginning. Eyes on the prize. They're looking deep into the future. If all else fails, pray to, to God. And get there. But uh, RNG, they waste no, t no time here and uh, jumped out to a very good early start for themselves. Mm -hmm. Who he now has his summoners back up, but Zed is post level six and starting to build up that attack damage. MLXG coming in for a classic. 
Nidalee repeat steal. And the red Maybe buff. tries to counter, but there's nothing there for him. Covered his bear, unfortunately. So MLXG will come out ahead on this. And he can even take away... I think... Well, he's I, not going to go for the Kindred Dashan scuttle. Sm Dashan smells it. Yeah. Oh, oh! He smelled it. It was right next to his nose. Mm-hmm. Now well, they're going for a push on the bottom side. It's such a strong move here from RNG with the roam. Uh, they zoned Darshan off. Now they're transitioning their mid lane lead. Darshan already in the one versus one previously had hard times with the Echo matchup. Now it's just going to be brutal. They're abusing the, the lane they were already winning. He gets zoned off a full wave right there. Feels bad, man, for the bottom laner. Yeah, he's going to try to walk right by the parallel. Two person. levels difference here as Looper is able to punish him under turret. Yeah, that's going to hurt for a little while. Darshan's going to have to hold out. Hope against hope as Wooj is now pressuring on Stixay, sends a Coling flying, half his health is already gone, and the Dark Binding does not connect. This Morgana pick is not working out too well for them just yet. No, this is, I mean, RNG, they've, they're just a very intelligent team with what they've drafted. This is how you use Nidalee. They have the strong lanes, they go abuse the strong areas that they have. Smithy's gonna go pretty aggressive here. I wonder if Mata. he gets Mata. There's a flash away, and he throws the lantern no, out. Does not get him. For a little extra healing. Oh, who oh, he's actually gonna rather. get hit by a spear. Meanwhile, down bottom lane, they're trading again. Yeah, so CLG uh, can't get anything there as they go hunting, go back home. Hunt. For now, Shahu pushing meanwhile while it's all happening. And Darshan will get a small amount of breathing room. Actually wants to go onto Looper. Heroic charge into that wall to stop his back. But now Looper turns on him with a time wind to the phase yeah. dive. That's a lot of damage. Can Darshan get away? He might have to wind up the ult. No. Looper makes him back off. Yeah, he stopped the back, but... Uh, Was it worth? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Mata uh, casually sidestepping the Dark Binding. All right, well... Your Callista lane is down 10 CS. Your Poppy lane is down 20 CS. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, 20 CS. They but stopped this. They stopped the, mm -hmm. the fast push. Mm -hmm. They actually stopped it. And they've still held on to this tower. Very impressive. Uh, 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 Smithy uh, is, Smithy is right. just what you, hovering oh, up point here. Point blank. All right. Woosh is going to go down, it looks like. But maybe I'm wrong in this one. He's oh, walking too. Day. Oh, the heal's out. Stixay is able to grab the rend out. But it was a close thing. And they needed a summoner spell or three to do it. Yeah, Riv always talks about clenching in moments like that. And man, <laughs> oh. Stixay wait till the last second uh. to pop his heal there because he didn't want to have to burn the summoner. But he does end up doing it. Now bottom lane, Darshan is the target of the roam once again. Big push up here from Shahu, and he's looking to go score a kill on this Papa who's been oh, beaten up. This is going to be brutal right now. Oh, Spear misses. Yep. Oh, but the death mark does not, fortunately. Let's see if they got enough damage on it to pop him. Shahu makes sure of it. He does tank a couple turret shots, though. Yeah. Three make that. Meanwhile, the tower went down up top, so some more gold in CLG's pocket, but they're still down. And the thing is, feet. yeah, since the bottom lane just got killed, uh, we didn't recall, but we'll go pick up this mid lane farm, so Azir doesn't get to push that in either. Flash Bates. binding there from Aphromu. That's a move he does all the time. Here goes Stixay. He's going to live uh, win that one while Smithy picks off Mata, who, whose Flash he previously burned in the last gank. But again, this is just a little bit of gold back in the there for CLG. As RNG, they strike back on the other side of the map because of their mid lane pressure. Oh, bot or actually in the jungle here, Smithy. Oh, he's caught. Oh, he is dead. No chance for the Lambs to spite. The burst was too strong. This is why CLG at the very beginning of the game, in Champ Select, they had their eyes past the early game. They were looking towards that mid and late game because you don't want to see what's going to happen to you when uh, RNG drafts a couple of winning lanes with the Nidalee jungle. Ooh, and yeah. LXG punishes them, and they're going to start that uh, dragon stacking as well. Mm -hmm. Some teams starting to deprioritize this Nidalee. RNG showing that that is flat wrong if you've got the jungler for it. And MLXG is certainly the man, the spicy hot pot. He's got three kills and three assists and only one death to show for it all. CLG managed to get revenge at least once, but let's see if Huki can get a little bit more as he moves up towards the top side. Very slow, and Looper is running. Darshan chasing. Set him He's up. got to know something's up. He does get the knockup, but is not giving as good as he gets. Oh, he dodges out of the Emperor's Divide with the ultimate of his own. Throws down the parallel convergence. He is 1v2, and this is buying time for MLXG. And that's not who you want to see. Tiger catching you. Darshan, oh, he's taking not down, though. Taking away the damage is just enough. And in goes MLXG. And uh -oh, down he goes the too. This is not done yet. RNG have Woosh coming in. All that burst damage. All that damage. He's got the calling on to X Smithy, who throws the lambs for spite. And Woosh will be denied for a few more seconds. Mata sends oh. the hook, and they catch Huhi. 
who's gonna have to burn his flash, and he will not even get away. A flash from Wooch back. This guy just knows how to get kills. This is looking pretty bad for CLG here. Oh, Xiaohu actually. Now he goes in, death mark on a stick, say dodging away, dodging back, and it's just a juke city. Yeah, good job. You gotta juke those uh, shurikens that come out right after, and stick say some erratic shot. movements there, is able to do it. They look Starts for the dive. Can Smithy get away? That is the question. He just keeps hopping and jumping and skipping. It's just a race, but who's winning? It's Afro hard to binding? Tell. Oh, Afro will secure the kill. And meanwhile, up top, Darshan grabs Mata as Wooj goes running into tower. And X Smithy dives in for the kill. CLG have equalized until MSG picks up another. Oh, he got two! Hey, Loop, what Loopers is going on? getting the kills on the bottom lane. He equalizes for RNG. That was. Devastating for CLG. Really nice teleport in there. And MLXG was also down on that bottom side. He's going to top it off with a red buff steal just when CLG thought they were getting right back into this game. Looper and MLXG closing on the bottom lane. So Xiaohu, he does get killed by the duo. But uh, yeah, Looper comes in. He's going to clean them up here. And then Xiao, uh, MLXG is going to clean up Stixe. So it was a couple of easy kills cornered in there. But CLG still, they've got that farm for late mentality. Yeah, Smithy, he's going a little bit low, and they actually need can't somebody complete else, the Rift Herald Yeah, uh, need somebody else to tank it. They could have finished it off, but I think they a little spooked. too risky for themselves. They don't have too much deep vision. Uh, they haven't seen Looper in a while. They got a little bit antsy. They don't want to give away any more kills because RNG right now are sort of teetering. They've got that pretty sizable gold lead that they really want with this uh, Nidalee comp with the Z split pushing, but if it gets any worse, then they might start diving CLG. CLG still, they're trying to hold on here. Another two versus uh, one yeah, for Luka's Afro and Stixay, though. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He chrono breaks back, and they have to turn around and flash on as he ex Good. gets exhausted. They bop him up with the Fates call, and they take him out the rent stacks. And Stixay manages to show this Kalista is very powerful, but meanwhile, RNG don't waste a beat. They go on the Rift Herald. Yeah, and usually I want to give the Rift Herald to the uh, jungler, but I actually, in that situation, would have given it to the Zed. It's so good for playmakers. Probably won't matter, though, because they're both going for the same target, and maybe MLXG is going to use that speed to chase down Darshan. He wants more. It's a full health pop, though. Oh, oh, denied on yeah. the steadfast presence. He just keeps going, and again, not enough damage to take out the poppy, but MLXG has been so ridiculous in this early game. It's now, I mean, it's transitioned very unceremoniously into a free-for-all. Oh, man, Darshan actually makes a little bit of a risky move there, goes back in for the minions, but it pays off big for him because both members of RNG are recalling since CLG's bottom lane is pushing so hard. He's counting on that recall, and he gets it, so he's going to be able to suck up those minions. Much needed minions for Darshan, trying to catch up on Poppy. 30 CS down. Uh, if he can grab some breathing room, this whole team definitely needs it. They've had to run a sprint around the map constantly 16 minutes into this game, and that gold difference has not been quite as big as you might expect with RNG's plays. CLG still matching them, but they're behind in this race just a little bit. For uh, Just for some perspective there, MLXG on the Nidalee, he's 1,700 gold up on just in the Kindred versus Nidalee matchup. So that is a very large portion uh, of the gold and three levels. Three level lead is obscene. Got to count them. I told you, believe man, myself. When I mean, we saw MLXG earlier today on the Nidalee, he did the same thing almost, and uh, he's keeping up the pace today. Let's see if CLG can weather the storm because you're going to have to dodge those spears. They are painful. CLG, and they are moving to group a little bit oh, in man. this top side. MLXG there is looking for a hunt, but he's got no backup just yet. Oh, he's yeah. spotted. A one man mission is a little bit much to ask, even for a five kill, <laughs> five kill Rift Herald Nidalee. Yeah. Uh, Xiao who might be giving him some backup along with Mata. Uh, they just go for the Rift Scuttler, who has uh, no chance, unfortunately. Yeah. Let me go into a little bit of why Nidalee is so frustrating for us junglers to play against. Uh, her early game clear speed is insane. Um, and then when she does get that strong early game off, it's really hard to stop her because the more money she gets early game just increases her clear speed for later. And so the experience and gold generating power of Nidalee you just really can't catch up to the curve that she has. All right, it's a, we'll, we'll rant about that later yeah. uh, because CLG Spears. are making Ooh, a move boy. towards the mid lane. Stixay did get a spear. So oh in my there we go. god! In they are comes done. everyone. Xiaohu with the first kill. Lambs are spied a bit too late, and RNG snapped the jaw shut on the trap, and CLG are melting. 
Afromu and Darshan wasn't even there. Last man standing, last two, I should say. But that's a quick three for none. And Darshan, now he's in danger too as he's on the run from MLXG. What a collapse. Brutal, savage. Destroyed right. here. RNG, uh, all right, let's oh, see if he, all right, all well, right. Put anyways, him in, put him in the dragon that pit. was. <laughs> That's where he wanted to go anyways. What are you it, doing, See, Darshan? this is the thing with Nidalee. All you, you just kill whatever is, is in front of you. So he gets knocked over to Dragon. All right, we're killing Dragon now. Just waste no time. Nidalee is just a machine in the jungle. She can churn through neutral monsters. She can churn through people. Oh my God, Looper, you are so, so devastating. All right, just clean sweep. You don't even have to talk about how bad that was. Giant three-man stun. RNG are all there for the collapse. Zed got AOE damage off yeah. going all in. And RNG just wipes CLG off the face of Summoner's Rift. Holy mackerel, this game has already just turned into a slaughter fest. Nine to 13 in kills. And RNG are in their element. A minute till the dragon will take up residence on the rift and RNG could be eyeballing that one. Yeah, they're I mean, already very, very ahead in this. And 4,000 gold in the lead over CLG who are fighting valiantly but just cannot overcome that RNG, team fight. RNG are looking better and better the longer this tournament goes on. It's, it's insane, actually. Today has been their best looking day yet. And they're not looking to slow down right now. Let's see how they pressure it, though, because this is one of those comps where um, if you give over a big chunk to CLG, you can throw it right back into them, and they'll get right back into the game. Very scary right now, though. The Zed uh, almost completing a second item here. Um, and Nidalee, we've been over this many times, but uh, anywhere MLG goes, you have to be scared. Yeah, even Darshan's not safe from that. Tanky as he can get. They've invested in the... Aegis of the Legion for Aphromoo, just to try and stem that a little bit. CLG trying to rope together here. Yeah, and exactly as they should. It's sort of the same story that G2 had in the last game. Now in CLG, they've got the Azir comp. They're the ones trying to play for the team. That's why they've got these team fight auras uh, Aphromoo is investing in. CLG want to try and huddle together, try and weather the storm. The onslaught here from RNG. RNG not letting up, though. 20 minutes have elapsed. We have more kills than there have been minutes in this game. <laughs> Most of them are NGs, and Xiao Hu is looking to hunt down the poppy. Actually, doesn't want to go all in on that one. Yeah. So, He's going to need to finish the second item before he does. They're I mean, pressuring three lanes, and they don't even have Nidalee. Yeah, he's just cleaning up extra gold here inside their own jungle. Mata dodging the dark bind. Still, G, I mean, if they can get a miracle pick, maybe they can start turning things around for themselves, but they really do need that late game power spike and they need to stop Whoa. the bleeding. MLXG is going for Lich Bane. He's completed the Lich Bane on Nidalee. He's, oh my goodness. He's Who gonna needs have Roa? so much burst. Okay, they're going all in on the split style though. I mean, MLXG is the guy who rushed a second item death dance on Graves as well. This guy looks for damage. He wants to be a huge threat and they do not want to team fight anyway, so he's not gonna need you know, more defensive stats. He's looking just to solo people out and kill them. If he catches someone, he's looking to kill you. He can slow you down with the Rhyalize and he can finish you off with the Lich Bane procs. It can't, it's a build that can be punished if they make a mistake though. CLG are so, they're just hoping for it to huddle together and look for a mistake from RNG and try and get their money back. Oh. Start. It's blind. CLG do not know this is they happening. They have no blue trinkets up for CLG, but they've got two people in the area. Can Afro, Oh, they're not going to do it. They're not going to venture any uh, further. Chrono yeah. break for Looper. It's down to three, down to two, down to 1,000 pretty call. soon here. Great there it call. goes. RNG sneak that. Baron and CLG are cowed into their side of the map. Do not even see it. Great call there from RNG. They know that CLG are playing scared right now. They know that they have to huddle. And so RNG farm the rift. They grab their whole jungle, clean the entire thing, then take out Baron. They've got two lines of wards seeing CLG uh, being too scared to come in and check. And they're able to take it. Now let's see what they can do with it. Pressure all three sides, clean up some extra secondary turrets, and increase this gold lead. RNG's goal is just to build up that gold lead big enough that they can 
smash through CLG's base with it. The Fear Enchant gets picked up for MLXT. This guy is pulling out all the stops. There is nowhere that is going to be safe. Yeah, if minus he, the base. If he point. lands a spear and he catches you, he's going to yep. kill you. <laughs> it's just like old Nidalee, except then there's a tiger or a, a cat pouncing out of you. Speaking of tiger, Xiaohu has not done too shabby himself. Doing five on the Zed, he's been applying pressure around the map, but he is not the main threat this game. It is all about MLXT. As Xiaohu does meet up with Looper to send a big mini wave crashing into this tower, but it's going to take three CLG members to clear this one away. Meanwhile, the rest of RNG turn towards the mid. Mm -hmm. The good old 3-2 split push. Yep, and Baron buff means that is going to do a lot of damage. Secondary turrets, I think, will all go oh, on. Oh, CLG move for it. Yeah, Emperor's Divide isn't going to connect where they want, and RNG still managed to secure that tower. And they're right back at it again. Just keep pushing, keep threatening. This one should go down easy then. I think so. Smithy gets maybe a parting shot on there. Parallel Convergence comes down just to zone. 23 minutes into the game. We've got an eight and a half thousand goalie. This is turning into a stomp. Yep, there it is. There's your extra turrets after your Baron. Congratulations. You can now that go box. back and purchase. Gold, the Nidalee gold especially is ridiculous. That's three over 3,000 ahead of Xmithy, who has been making some hero plays, but he's gonna need some more miracles. CLG altogether gonna need a, a big mistake from RNG. Big punish. They're gonna have to get some gold back some oh, way. They okay. catch Looper. So they have the damage to take him out. He chrono okay. breaks. And now Xsmithy looking to chase him nope. down, but he face first into a calling, and he has to pop Landra's spite. They made a mistake themselves. Well, that dragon's gone. <laughs> RNG gonna get it's that. It's a bold prediction, Kobe. Third, uh, yeah, <laughs> RNG gonna get their number three pretty easily here, and it's back to the huddle game. Farm for late, guys. Yeah, that is the plan for CLG. Let's see if they can huddle together for warmth just enough, and Xsmithy gonna have to back away from that now. RNG owning this map more mm -hmm. and more. Three dragons, five towers, AK gold ahead. And we're only 25 minutes into the game. RNG just so impressive this tournament. They can play the full team fight comp. They can play the high pressure game. They can utilize assassins to defeat team fight compositions, even in the team fights. Xiaohu did it on LeBlanc. And now they're going to try and do it on Zed. This is the crucial moments, though, when they move in for the kill. Breaking the inhibitor turret line is the, always the hardest part. They've got the gold to do it, though, and here they come. Amalekshi is a little far behind. Oh, Xiaohu does get caught by the binding. Not enough damage, though, to take him down. He does pop his Ghost Blade. Mata clears out vision of the pink ward and turn their attention towards this bottom side. Keep wearing away at the base. Stixay is coming to try and stop that, however. Mm -hmm. Look at that team fight build as well, even slightly there from Zed. He's gonna go with the Black Cleaver to shred AOE armor uh, instead of going pure assassin. As they wanna be able to finish out the game, they know eventually they're gonna have to kill all five members of CLG. And they're, like I said, they're just gonna have so much gold on everyone that every person on RNG will have an extra item. And that should be enough for them to do it. So last secondary turret is going to give him some extra. Uh -oh. oh my god, the oh, spear lands. Oh, here comes a cat. Smith is going to have to flash it. Yep. That was uh, heart powder. And goes Xiaohu. Looks for Stixay. It's a 1v2. Can he do it? And no. Stixay and Aphromu once again come up with a big play. That's a miracle. Let's see if they've got any more in the tank. Smithy is caught by Mata. Toast. Played back. He's going nowhere on this. But in comes Huhi. Mata stopped up, stunned up. I should say rooted as Stixay gets another kill. They turn for Wu. Can they get another? They get the pop of him comes Looper. MLXG though. Darshan trying to tank between all three members. Spear flies onto Afromu. They do not want to go too far oh. forward. RNG collapse on this despite losing two. RNG still look terrifying. CLG have pushed him off for now. Whew. Smithy, I believe his Lambs of Spite had just come back up, I think. Um, and they were respecting it, so they didn't go all in to finish him off, but... Man, CLG holding uh -oh. on, uh -oh. barely. Spears, and the jump, and the pounce. Not enough damage to finish, but Afro's ticking away, and Looper finishes the job. Uh -uh. All right, well, Shahu's coming back up. So once again, RNG are gonna have control of the rift. CLG, just gotta hold tight. Whoa, Darshan goes aggro. Yeah, he just wants to fight it, push him out of his own jungle, but you said it right. RNG, they've owned the rift this entire game. And they are painted red. 
RNG trying to look for the plays that will allow them to push into the base. Yeah, honestly, Pyra, RNG have owned in the entire MSI event. Still undefeated, looking really good and looking like they want to keep their streak going here. CLG are holding on though, showing up. But they have looked more and more impressive as time has gone by. A lot of close affairs in previous days, but today a dominating performance over the Flash Wolves. Now up against CLG, showcasing everything that they have to offer. Yep. So close, 9,000 gold ahead. They keep growing this lead. Baron's up in 40 seconds. And coming into the day, Flash Wolves and CLG were the ones with the most impressive scores behind RNG. But they're just blowing away the competition. Clear pecking order starting to be established here. We will get some previews of what are very likely going to be the playoffs here at MSI Shanghai. And RNG That's right. looking so unstoppable. If CLG can pull this out, if they can huddle together, farm for late, and win that team fight at the very end of the game to win it, then they will get into the playoffs and secure uh, North America's number one seed for them and secure themselves the chance to get some of those best of rounds. It's what they're fighting for right now. It looks a long way off so right hard. now, though. Baron spawn, 29 minutes. RNG do not need to make any hasty decisions. They just keep CLG cowed inside a very limited area. They've uh -oh. caught Huhi here. In goes Mata. Black and it shield. does it, Mata, apparently. They just jump right on out, but still a lot of damage. Parting shot, Aphromu is chunked so low. Darshan's actually pretty far up in the lane right uh, here. He, uh, that is not where you want to be, Darshan. He dodges the spear, but that might not be enough. He's leading them away from Baron, at oh, least. Flash. Ah, but he bought it. Follow dearly. the Candyman. <laughs> RNG, we're looking for something sweet this time. They might still be able to find it. 11 to 14, remember, are those kills. So, Silji haven't been not able to answer back on anything. Mm. MLXG with the double buffs now as he takes it away. Oh, they're trying away. to corral him. See if the pincer can happen. Silji's going to make a play. Oh, this is happening. Barely converges. Who he's able to push Looper back, but that's not who they wanted. Deathmark on, and the Zanyas to stop the mark from proccing. CLG, who he will go down anyways, and Xiaohu, they collapse. A double kill for Xiaohu now, looking for Darshan for cleanup duty. And they should be able to get it. It's just a matter of time. In goes Looper on the flash, and Woosh secures it. Yeah, people are going to say, ah, CLG, what are you doing trying to fight that? But they just, they were in a desperate situation, and they didn't want to wait for RNG to get that Baron, Call and the then just side. come knocking at the door. So they tried to make a play on two people. It's going to cost them a lot of lives, though. Yeah, it might be a full ace on this with the way death timers are looking. Smithy trying what? to juke things I'm out. just oh. a wolf. Ah, uh, don't. Oh, he got caught there. Lamster bites down. Why not at this point? Just trying to get something back. Maybe some wolf camp. Sure, uh, why not? As Aphromu is sniped out. Fairly at point blank range, and that's going to be the ace. That's going to be the Baron. 30 yeah. minutes, and RNG are controlling it. What a game from RNG. Total control here. This is going to be the Baron, and then they should be able to march that one in. CLG now going to try and do the base defense uh, with 35 seconds on Smithy. Uh, he might be able to get back up in time. But so here's what they're thinking. They're thinking, we got to make a play on two members while they're separated. This might be our only chance. But who he gets stunned up and his ult goes off. He does have Zonia's, so he can Zonia's the Zed ultimate. Uh, and Darshan tries to eject people to turn the numbers back in their favor, but it's just too much. Since RNG can collapse and everyone just joins in, run down Darshan, and they eventually run down all members of CLG as well. Uh, as you know. Now let's get back to live and see what they do with this Baron buff. Because uh, CLG, technically, you know, they can still play that farm for late. They still have Nexus uh, inhibitor turrets and Nexus turrets, so they're, they're going to try and hold on to it. Yeah, Looper's got himself the <laughs> Medjai's. He's bored, man. He just wants something to read. Going to write his, uh, write in his journal today. I killed all of CLG. Really, though, MLXG was off to a flying start. He was enabling the lands, and they stopped that split push that CLG wanted to play. Took the control away from them, and they've held it ever since. Massive gold lead now for RNG, looking to push in, looking to end. There's nothing but base turrets left yeah, on the North American side. Pretty much. I think CLG just have to seed this bottom one. Tier 2 is really dangerous to oh, defend. I missed that one. Um... All of RNG are going to collapse. Actually, Nidalee can just take an inhibitor turret if they try and yeah. defend that outer one. They don't have to get picks. They can just keep running them around. Yeah, the thing's at half health already. CLG are feeling very desperate, so they're actually the ones that are going to have to make a move. 
because uh, their inhibitor turrets are taking a beating already. One, three, one, and they may secure all three towers. At this rate, Xiaohu gets the inner in the bottom. Mata tanks the Dark Binding, almost gets a hook onto Hu He. Xiaohu looking to dive in maybe on a Smithy Looper, 1v1ing, and doesn't actually care about Darshan's damage. That tower should be down. Smithy, look at that, that he's getting chunked out on this, and Darshan, or rather, Xiaohu and MLXG just keep on pushing the line forward. Speaking of Darshan, he could not defend that turret. And now it's Siege on this mid. It's already going to be chunked out, almost gone. And the inhibitor in the bottom side, RNG just slow burn it away. Yeah, they're doing, they're playing so intelligently. Seeing the growth from this team, no blind aggression. All eyes all across the map and just taking the calculated plays, but oh so deadly when they strike. Early game, snowball into the high pressure, all lanes. Oh, Xiaohu actually goes in, death mark. They do dodge away from the face call. He just keeps on juking, but meanwhile, an inhibitor goes down in top side. Super minions are gonna start streaming in, and there is yep. only an inhibitor and an Azir turret left of the non-Nexus towers. Looper and Darshan dueling, but Looper's got the better of that since he's got minion backup. RNG, RNG can back away safe. Yeah, but they leave CLG stumbling around their own base. And look, look at this, Nidalee is just a machine. Camp to camp, boom, boom, just kill everything that's in front of you. And he does, he has all game long, and RNG is so impressive. They've shown that they can win late game team fights. They can play scaling comps. They can play early game snowball. They can play all three lanes as pressure. And that is why they're on their way, fast track to an 8 and 0 here at MSI Shanghai. Undefeated hometown heroes. And they've got the crowd on their side. Massive play from the Chinese team all across this tournament. Yeah, and I just love their story too. I mean, even though everyone recognizes Looper and Mata as the, the stars here, the Samsung members that they brought in and they bought, the members that they rescued from the, the other failing Chinese teams and Xiaohu coming off Gamti and then uh, Wush and MLXG, these are the guys that are taking the spotlight. MLXG has had huge performances. Wush's Twitch has been a spotlight here as far as some of the comps that they've run for team fighting. Every member on RNG is playing so well. Mata's leadership really bringing everyone up around him. Yeah, I mean, you said MLXG is, is a machine, but really, he's a cog in this incredible house yeah. that Mata Mata's built. machine. <laughs> yeah. Mata Inc. He turns, he turns a crank and it's just going. At this point, there's not a whole lot CLG can do to stop the push all the way through. They're cowed into their base. They're stuck into really just trying for a miracle assassination. And the clock is ticking as RNG look to snap the final trap shut. Last inhibitor, what they're targeting at the moment. Close call for them for a moment. Who he is gonna try for the divide. But in the end, he's the one who's gonna get taken down to zero as Looper goes on in, turns on back actually. And this might be the final fight of the game. Looper can't go back in, but Xiaohu has no problem tagging in to take out the Emperor. And that is gonna be a godlike fight for RNG. Oh, Luz is down. Can hold on. Luz is taken off. away. Looper gets his GA popped. That is a one for one so far. Looper will be back, but he gets knocked and bopped and taken out. Shots the binding they from Aftermoon! Six, they, they find MLXG, and that is the miracle play that keeps CLG alive. Their base is in shambles, but they live another day. Oh, man. RNG. They couldn't finish the job. CLG stand tall. I guess they... All right, let's take a look at how it happened here, because it was, it was a little bit of a disjointed... Uh, Punish here from RNG. They saw who he used everything, so they wanted to go all in on him. They use everything on his own. Yes, Darshan gets the ultimate only to eject Mata, actually. And it sticks at his consistent damage, plus Smithy here on the other side. Yes, Xiaohu goes to get the assassination off, but Smithy again, consistent damage, gets the punish off. He dodges that spear and sticks A on the bottom side. Actually, Woosh just getting himself into the position for Darshan to get him with the stun there and heroic charge into the small rock inside their base. Woosh going down right there, All turns it around, and uh, Stixa is able to press forward. That small rock inside of CLG's base, the hero. Yeah, it, it stopped the wheel from turning for just a moment. But there's going to be another dragon available in 10 seconds. RNG, this would be five for them. Oh, look at that damage that was dealt out by Stixa and Smithy. That's a heaping helping of spears and arrows. See if they can contest this dragon. They absolutely have to, but it is going so low to, already. They have to go hard. CLG just have to force. They have no. Can get the bind on Mata. Can they do it? 
They have to spike Baron and the oh. Dragon ain't dying, I should say. Stixay does get Manta. The Dragon goes down. It's secured by Xpithy. That is the oh first one for them. Can they do Are it? Oh, me? can you believe? Do you have the faith in CLG? Because they just secured three. Looking They're for four. They're going to get four. Looking for it. And can they end on this one? Are you kidding me? Smithy goes in and he lambs with spites to keep the Dragon alive. So they can't get fifth Dragon during the fight. Holy moly. Yeah, this is... CLG, they don't go in for the dragon steal. Chase they go in to finish the dragon fight. And RNG can't react in time. Now they're has to leave Looper. Looper. Oh, Looper, he's left for dead on this one. There is no breaking back for him. Spears keep flying. He's got the speed boost. We're going back to Xiaohu. And this is going to be a Baron for CLG. Oh. Are you kidding me? All right, I will calm myself now. Oh, this is happening. You, you, yeah, you haven't experienced this before. Uh -huh. North American LCS coming to you, Pyra. Holy, what have I been missing? Okay, Baron secured 38 minutes. They cut a bit of the gold lead, shave it off, buy themselves some time. Let's see how it all happened. Look at this genius play. Holy crap, Smithy. All right, so they make the call. We're going for the team fight only, guys. RNG are focused on the objective. And this fight goes off. Smithy gets the, oh, the ultimate on the dragon to keep it alive. They take down the two people. Then who he pushes them off of the lambs of spite. Looper gets stuck in this dragon pit. Look, he can't even move with his ear wall there. He's stuck. <laughs> and they just separate the team and clean up that fight. Oh, my God. Then he's got the Zonia still. Bates in MLXG. That is a huge mistake. MLXG hasn't made mistakes like that this game. RNG are tilting after that genius play from CLG. Sometimes the games come all the way down to counter logic. I cannot believe what is going on right now. Still a 10k gold advantage. Still four dragons to one. But a Baron buff for CLG, and they've got some confidence. What's more oh, important? Oh, they're closing in. Looper and Xiao, who have to they back have to be away careful. now. Their base is wide open. We talked about late game. It's here, Kobe. This is this is what it looks like for CLG. They could Praise save some time. Praise be to Hotshot. They've made it. Yeah. Now, everything was the effort just to get here, though. You still have to win the final team fight to actually win the yeah. game. Once you climb the mountain, then you've got to face And Darshan's over here, but uh, who he's on the way. Okay. Death mark on. He winds it up. He does not connect. But, yeah. however, they've forced Xiaohu to back off, and who he has shown his hand. Xiaohu, a lot of damage from the soldiers going in. Uh. Emperor's to find whips. However, Stixay, Xmithy, they're on the chase here. <laughs> Xiao RNG are pinging to that go mid. Screw was, the fight. We want the game. That was actually so pathetic. <laughs> that <laughs> zero wall. <laughs> It's like you're paying your soldiers half wage, so they're like, eh, we're not going all the way. We're going uh, halfway here. But uh, anyway, CLG, don't get the pick. It's overtime, RNG, Kobe. What do you want? Yeah, RNG are able to get out, uh, and they escape the uh, clutches there. All right. This game. I don't know anymore, man. Oh, I'm familiar with this territory. We're only right, 40 good. minutes in. This isn't even late game here, take, buddy. Take the wheel. You drive for a minute because uh, I'm right, going to have to reorient We're going to drive straight up senses. mid lane because CLG want to use this Baron buff to get some of that standing gold back. They still haven't maxed out on items. Look at Hui. He's still got brown bags on his feet. They're poor. <laughs> CLG are just poor little peasants well, that's, here that's, trying to get back into the game. That's why you can't afford to pay the soldiers, man. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Tower is going very low. There's still a few Baron empowered minions on this one. It will, however, fall. CLG are pushing into this one. No team has beaten RNG. Can they, they, they reset Can they hold now? it? CLG Hello. need to Teleport. reset. Flank, it's coming in. It's going to be Looper. Darshan gets the wind up. Where's the pitch? It's not going oh, anywhere, but in comes anyone. Looper. Uh -oh. Now, Looper is actually going to have to back off, but can they flank again? Darshan a little low. Death mark onto Huhi. And they're starting Xiao. to help, but Xiaohu is shut down by Stixay. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. And that's insane. Looper is going low, but he chrono breaks back. A double kill for Huhi. A kill for Huhi. Oh, oh, I can't kill. believe it. A triple Dude, kill. Dude, we're going to win be the ace. Looper is down. CLG. Do you God believe, Kobe? Did it. Are you kidding me? They're going to take down the undefeated team here at MSI. A uh, Nexus turret will fall. Another will fall. 42 minutes. And I the never odds. doubted them. I never doubted them. CLG Counter Logic Gaming with the most unlikely victory. <gasps> Holy crap. The silence in the crowd after they see their team have the largest of leads, but unable to close.
Silji get to take that walk for the first time over to the Chinese side. The first team to hand them a defeat in their hometown. Unbelievable. Honestly, I didn't expect that one. That was a great defense. Oh, some clutch late game team fights there from CLG and some genius moves. Oh my goodness. We were, we were talking about the ba some basic things uh, earlier in the day about, you know, you don't want to go for dragon steals while you go for uh, trying to win the dragon fight at the same time. CLG did that so perfectly. They know that RNG are focused on the objective, so they go in with the mindset, we're just going to win this dragon fight. X Smithy delays them. He throws the whole team through a loop with that Kindred ultimate, and then who he divides their team. He shoves half the people off the backside of the dragon pit, and CLG clean up the other half. A well-oiled machine on the other side. X Smithy with the hero play to stop that dragon from being secured. That was the key to victory. That was it all over. And, and they had it. Just stopped by CLG. And CLG proved North America deserves their number one seed, and they secure their spot to move in to the next stage of MSI. Well earned indeed. And perhaps the most insane game that we have had in a tournament full of surprises. What a day. That was a, that was, that was a barn burner, my yeah, friend. It didn't look like it was going to be for a bit, <laughs> but uh, woo, I got taken around a few times. That, that was just so enjoyable, enjoyable to watch the entire game. RNG, even if you're a fan of CLG, you got to respect how RNG were winning that early game and how well they were playing and snowballing and applying the pressure from all sides. They had everything but, but the Nexus. As we said, we kept remembering, kept warning the one big mistake. There's such a small margin of error when you try and play these high pressure, multi-lane uh, uh, team fight uh, or team comps against yeah. a team fight comp like CLG have. Uh, and we CLG talked about the late waited game it out. out though. You talked about yeah. the huddle. And Eyes they on really, the end of the game. You could not break through that base. They had every objective in the game. They had everything but the Nexus and maybe a turret. And in the end, CLG were able to turn it all around. That was it. So with that being said, there are no more words. We're going to send it back over to the analyst desk to break down CLG's win. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I have a dumbfounded Woo! desk here in front of me <laughs> after RNG gets taken down for the first time this tournament. Spawn was game. so happy for like no. 37 <laughs> minutes. I didn't even I, say like I 37 still, minutes. I am still so happy because this was a perfect RNG game. They showed exactly what makes them beautiful <laughs> and exactly why they cannot win best of one. You realize <laughs> this is RNG versus World Elite in the semifinal of LPL all yeah, over this again. Game had yeah. all over again. CLG almost died of the Rift Herald early on in the game as well. True. That was true. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, this was the most <laughs> NA LPL game I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. High action. I mean, the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, we just saw early skirmishes, kills all over the board. Yeah. Can we and put to bed, by the way, that yeah. Italy is no longer an S-tier jungler in this meta because MLXG was just, I no, think no, at no. one point, oh, he was no, 2,000 we, above no, 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 no one ever said the... she wasn't S-tier. Yeah. We just said that when you want to play a team fight leg game, uh, you take Kindred <laughs> away from above. And also, we got to show and, how the comeback happens. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but I will say, I think we could very safely say that MLXG's <laughs> uh, handle on that champion mm -hmm. is yeah, superior to the rest of the players in this in this tournament but i want to get back to what jat was just saying we need to take another look at how this game turned around because rng yeah. had such control over it and then the base fight happened into the yeah. dragon fight so let's walk back through this mm -hmm. because as kobe mentioned small margin for error but if that error occurs you put clg right back into this game i pretty much just want to see these fights again because we it definitely felt like rng was playing with their food a little bit like they were toying with CLG for a lot of this and could have probably closed it out had they decided to play methodically and cleanly, but they didn't. They disrespected the late yep. game team comp and CLG made them pay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as soon as we can get the, here they are right now. This fight here, who he, the failed he engage he totally first. with the combo. Yeah, so he's supposed to go to full duration with the soldier and then knock people back here. And misses it. Flash backwards, so yeah. it's a poor stop, but he's actually baiting out a few cooldowns. I'm going to say baiting out a few cool, <laughs> cooldowns. But like, look at the Sean here. Look at the Sean. Just wait for him to land the crucial stun. It comes here onto Bush. Wait yeah. for him. Into the small rock in the face. Now Bush is dying. That's the 80 carry Which is down. weird because he has a QSS and there's a Mikhail's on But it's Bush. But he doesn't use Who's those not playing spells. And then the Zed did finish off Huvi, but now that it's an 80 carry versus an assassin and the 80 carry is fed enough to knock out one shot, they can actually turn it around. They land another binding. 
onto the Nidalee, who wasn't respecting that, and with the Mikhail's being gone, and it goes straight into the dragon fight now. Yeah, and so RNG, they're like, okay, fifth dragon, that's still our win condition, but it's Smithy, able to Gorgeous get the ultimate. great ultimate down, and they pick Marta at the same time, so all of a sudden it's a 4v5, MLXG may as well be out, and RNG still disrespect their opponents because they're still fighting this, and MLXG even still goes in at the end of this team fight. But look at that ulti. Not only from, from Mixed with the, yeah. yeah, he's, right, he's he trying to get one kill to maybe delay a little bit of time here, and he realizes he probably can't get out. You want to talk about You're it. really angry about that? <laughs> uh, no, so what I'm actually angry about, like, if, for those that don't know, is that the LPL has a tendency to take people lightly in games that don't mean all of that much. I'm not going to use the term, but everyone knows what the heck I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. However, going into a best of five, that gives a team confidence. If CLG yeah. are like, we just out team fought RNG, you never want to give something to your opponents when you have to play them again in a couple of days in what is a best of five series. That is just stupid. Sure. I mean, obviously CLG can, can learn a lot from this game because of how crazy the early game was as well. But we got to keep in mind, RNG's composition couldn't team fight late game. So even though they made mistakes, right. clearly, right. and were, uh, were ahead in gold like, and everything, you do not team fight with Nidalee Zed and They had triple inhibitor game. down. I know. Dragon that's not five a team up fight. in a minute, though. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, I, they should have guys, double I do want to make sure that everyone gets hurt here. So, Jat, jump in. Yeah. I think I had a lot to say before the comeback was going to happen <laughs> because I thought this was actually going to be a really good display of RNG saying, OK, we're not just going to play the slow team fight game. Let's speed our tempo up and let's crush someone early game. And they absolutely did that. And CLG got trapped playing two losing lanes yep. against an Italy jungle. So they were actually screwed in a lot of in a lot of ways because they were expecting a slow methodical team fight comp and they got run over by assassins. But they kept their heads because CLG has amazing teamwork and faith in themselves. So they're yep. able to come back at the very end. And of if it. we are going to point out a couple of players, I mean, we already saw in there it's Smithy's awareness to ult the dragon and then get the smite secure after the ult times out. But Stixay is the player that I really want to point to because even in those early stages of the game when we were watching things go in RNG's favor. He was the one who was finding ways to pick up a kill here and there and get himself to that fed state that in that team fight, when the door was opened, he could walk through it. I mean, I definitely agree. He's, play, he's playing extremely well in these fights here. And I think we have to highlight him as a player, but I think Dashaun as well deserves a lot of praise in this game because he's poppy in these extreme... No, no, no. Wait for it. Yeah, wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> his, very... his late game team fighting poppy is definitely Yes. Good, and so. when against SKT, it was the exact same deal. They were behind against the late game team fights and then key targets. He's actually very good at finding that one guy, smacking him into the wall. He did it with Mata in the dragon fight, took him out first. Did it with Vush here. He did it with Faker yesterday. Like, I know it's obviously Stixay who's getting all the kills and, you know, the yeah. big highlights. But Dashaun is just kind of running around these fights on this little poppy and finding the key targets. And you know, both teams kind of achieved their goals out of this game. CLG proved that they can late game team fight. RNG did prove that they can build a 20,000 gold yes. lead before 35 minutes <laughs> in the game. Even though CLG won that game, I don't think they want to replicate it and try and no do it again in the nope. future. Nope. So, you know, it was a strange game. We got everything. Least. Yeah, was it 20,000 gold? It was, it was close. It was, was 17,000. Okay, there it is. 17,000. All right, All right. Okay. well, Sorry, regardless, we're still up. reeling a bit from that <laughs> win, and I'm sure the players are themselves. Right now, we've got Shock standing by with two members of the Victorious Counterlogic Gaming, so let's send it over to have their thoughts. <laughs> Thank you very much, standing by with Stixay and Xmithy after CLG pull out that seemingly unwinnable game. And I saw your faces here surprised when we said 17,000 gold deficit. Um, and you said, well, I mean, we were winning the whole time. But honestly, <laughs> how did it feel to play that game? And what did you have in mind knowing that you have a chance to come back, but it is small? Yeah, from starting from the early game, the, uh, we pretty much got bowed. <laughs> and, uh, all we wanted to do was like try to get to late game and uh, we just wanted to out team fight them because we have a better superior team comp. We just wanted to get it to late game so that everyone has their items and everyone can fight them. Um, how much were you caught off guard by the fact that they drafted this very assassin heavy composition? Was there no room to pivot anymore in the picks and bans? Um, well, I think we know that their mid laner likes to play like, a lot of assassins and stuff like that. Uh, but we picked like a really, really strong team fighting comp and Obviously, like, we were able to show it like later on in the game. Even though we were super far behind, uh, we were just still able to team fight and win the game. It was insane. It was seemingly unwinnable. Uh, Xmithy, I want to ask you about that Dragon uh, Kindred alt. Talk to me about your presence of mind at that time to do that and what the communication was like after. Well, when I was starting to play Kindred, it was like a few months ago. Like, I, I would play like 
in solo queue and like I've seen one guy like did that to me actually <laughs> like he did that to Baron and then I'm like holy oh I can do that actually so I've been I've been trying to practice that like doing that mostly in scrims and like sometimes like in tournaments so yeah so yeah easy just did yeah. that here and won the game versus the undefeated RNG uh, at what time in the game did you um, try and see or sensed rather that RNG was becoming a bit cocky. We saw the Lich Bane on Italy, of course. Did you notice anything in their gameplay that made you think, okay, this is our go time? Um, I think it was after the base fight when they were like going like super ham in our base, and then Darshan stunned the Lucian, and he kept uh, actually had really bad positioning. He kept going for me every fight. I knew that they were getting like really cocky, really greedy, and then uh, after we won that fight, I knew that they could no longer like five v five us. And so we were like really confident that we could just pretty much win every fight. That's what we did. That is what you did. Um, there are a couple of things that you guys have, have proven here to uh, the viewers, to your fans overall. First of all, that team fighting, not that you had horrible team fighting before. Do you feel that you have, um, that you do your rising to another level with this team fighting in this tournament? Um, yeah, I, I don't really recall that we were like really bad at team fighting, even like in LCS. Um, it was just like we were more superior on other aspects of the game that we take advantage of that. And then we really didn't take in mind that we need to make like a team fight death ball comp until like maybe like in playoffs. Yeah, and that's what you did now. Talking about proving things to people, of course, Stixie, uh, when I talked to you a couple of days ago, we already mentioned the fact that you're always under harsh criticism on one side and then a lot of praise from the community. Um, how important is it for you to prove that to the people or is it more about showing that CLG can win something? Um, well, of course it's important to show that I myself am good, but obviously I want like what's best for the team. So uh, honestly, I think right now people are giving way too much credit to me, not enough to my teammates. Like for example, Darshan's team fighting is actually insane on Poppy. Afro's peeling everything off me. So I'm getting a lot of credit, but it's a lot of my teammates as well. All right, well, fantastic answer at that. And finally, um, securing that first seat at Worlds for NA and securing your spot in the semifinal here. So I got to know, what do you think your course will be? Who would you like to meet? And what are your chances of playing that final, x -Mithy? Well, yeah, our main goal is probably just to win MSI, mm -hmm. hopefully. And then uh, that's what we've been striving for. And we just wanted to win everything, I guess. Is there anyone you definitely not want to see in the semifinals? Of course, SKT with that <laughs> dodgy position now in fourth. Um, yeah, probably SKT. <laughs> I think they're really good in like a best of series format. And I think they're also bouncing back. Mm -hmm. um, Darshan said, and the interview with him. Yeah, we're aiming for top two. Now I hear CLG can win MSI X Smithy. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. I know. I'm trying to bait you here. You are being careful, but still uh, humble. Thank you guys very much. What a fantastic victory for CLG. Whew, I'm running completely out of words. We're going to take a quick break because after that, we have our last game of the day with Supermassive taking on world champion SK Telecom. Don't go anywhere. Now, the LPL does own the rift in their hometown. Tiger catching you, Darshan, oh, Poppy taking it down oh. though, taking away the damage, it's just enough, and in goes MLXG. The Gears are making a move Boy. towards the mid lane. Stixa did get a spear. Oh, oh my god, god. it comes everyone. Xiaohu with the first kill, Lambs are spied a bit too late, and RNG snapped the jaw shot on the trap, and CLG are melting. He will go down anyways, and Xiaohu, they collapse. A double kill for Xiaohu now, looking for Darshan for cleanup duty. Just the binding for Xiaohu! They find MLXG, and that is the miracle play that keeps CLG alive. Yep, oh, yeah, down, 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 down. Yeah, I'm in, Zed. I got it. Nice, nice, nice. Lucian, 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 Lucian. I love this, Lucian. Nice, nice, nice. Get Zed, get Zed, get Zed. I got one second. Go, 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 go. Zed, Zed, Zed. I box him again. I'm going on Lucian, I'm going on Lucian. I bound him, I bound Lucian, I bound Lucian. I bound Lucian. I bound Lucian. I bound Lucian. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice.